Okay, my brothers. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone has pages. I ordered this farm. Um, they should be here namash any day. Bezat Hashem, by next year we'll have them. But for now, you have the, the copies. Um, the um, the month of Tevet is sponsored by Alon and Jenny Englinoff. It's the last day of Tevet. Lilun Nishmas Avram Chai Ben Yosef Shimon in the week is sponsored. Lilun Nishmas Moshe Nachum Ben Yaakov Bechan Aliba. Tchia Yisrael Shimon Abbas Baruch Halevi Besaran for the refuah of Chabi Yochev Al Adaf Besaran. And for the Ilui Nishmas Menachem Ben Shmuel Eliezer Ben Liba, the Ilui Nishmas Chaim Arlon Ben Benjamin Akoin, and the Ilui Nishmas Tamar Bad Moshe, and Azriel Ben Arye. Um, you okay? Aye, sorry. Um, it's a it's it's a very 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 hard morning. It's a very very difficult morning. Very very difficult morning. Yesterday at the at the levaya of um, David Schwartz, David Schwartz from uh, from uh, El Azar. Uh, I mean, I know his wife's family, the, his own. His, his, I know his widow's family for many years. Uh, I I did a few of the children's simchas back in the day. And halev halev pashut halev. Mitpotzitz, you know, the heart just mitpotzitz. And also, um, our, our neighbor, Elkanah Newlander, I, I know the Newlanders for, uh, since he's born. I know Land, Newlanders for like 20, 23, 24 years. Avri and Ava, they were shlichim in Los Angeles when I was still living there. And uh, Avri says, if you know him, he's a serious Tamil Chacham. And, um, they live right here, just, a, just a two minutes from here. And uh, Mamash, nothing, it's very, very, very hard to stay focused. And it's very hard to stay focused. It's very hard to understand what to do with all the pain. And that's the whole point. You're not supposed to understand what to do with it. You're supposed to allow yourself to feel it. And we're feeling it. We're feeling it very, very much. So, I give us a, I give us a bracha to witness Nisim ben Iflos because Alpia, Alpia Teva, we need we need miraculous, miraculous Nisim ben Iflos. You know, I, I when I was at the funeral yesterday, I texted my wife. I said to Bean, I said, listen, I don't know what you. I'm, I'm sorry if you already prepared dinner, but like we're we're we're, we're taking the kids out. You know, just we're taking them out for dinner. Lomshanim. I said, why? I, I saw you there. I saw you there last night. I said, why? I said, I said because we can. <laughs> and I thought, and you know, we had a few minutes at this new, that new place that opened here in the, in the mall, uh, Ben Ami. It was really special, you know. Just Nachman was running outside to go on those uh, rides, and they don't work at night, so he was a little bit frustrated, whatever. And Jeremy was waiting for his food at another restaurant for three hours. I don't know if he even got it. Life, give life, and then at the end of the of the meal, I'm sitting there, and and my father sends a text of, of 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 Elkanah Newlander, and it's it's just like, at a certain point, and and it's not that we were trying to escape, but in a livroch, we're in this, mash in this, and it's it's who we are, it's everything about us, and there's no, there's no uh, escape from it. It's so deep inside. It is so so difficult. It's so, so hard, and it's okay to say that. It's hard. It's hard to get up and daven. It's hard to go to sleep. It's, it's hard to wake up. It's just, this is like, this is brutal. And then I thought, but you know what? What am I doing tomorrow morning to justify my existence here and to honor, to honor the, the courageous tzaddikim that are being laid to rest? Well, I'm hopefully learning and living in a, living in a world where I'm trying to really give my all to make sure that it, I'm, that all of us, including myself, wake up from the coma. And if I wake up from the coma and I can get someone else to wake up from the coma, only through Das Torah and through real love for everybody, 
and the next generation of kids that I see running around on rides won't have their, their army service will be an army service of, that, that has nothing to do with what it is today. What, 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 mamash, what it is today. It's like, you read anything in the news about how we are conducting ourselves and it makes you, it can make you mamash go insane. Make it, it can make you go, it can make you, it can make you go mad. It's Chaim Hila Machzikim Ba. I never felt that Pusik stronger. It's Chaim, it's a, I, I don't, I don't, the, my, my sanity is dependent on holding on to the Torah Kedosha, holding on to the Pneumius of Torah, holding on to the Pneumius of the Tzadikim. Right um, across the valley from us, they're taking apart the Yishuv right across, like you can see it. They're taking apart the Yishuv in by Pnei Kedem. It's so insane and crazy, it's like... No, it's, it's a fuch a fuch. And that's why the, the, that's why the necessity to stay focused right now it has never been more difficult and never been more necessary have been more, more necessary. This this dream, this dream called the Zionist enterprise, uh, is the fixing that we're 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 working on so deeply and intensely. And just again, to go back to we're starting Perak Bet today in Rav Ginsburg's Tikkun Medina, Perak Aleph. Perak Aleph was all about was all about that it's Pesach Sheni every day here. Uh, hard to believe, Pesach Sheni, we could fix all of this, Chavra. We could fix all of this. We just have to come to the internalization that it needs to be fixed. <laughs> you understand? You can believe that everything can be fixed. The Shaila is, what do you think needs to be fixed? <coughs> in the Yisod of our existence here, in Eretz Yisrael, needs to be fixed. The Yisod, the foundation, the root of it all, needs to be fixed. So Perek Bet, trigger warning. It's not going to be hard to understand. This is not, and only later in the parak there's a little bit, there's more Kabbalistic concepts. In the beginning of this parak. it's not going to be hard to understand. It's just going to be very hard to hear. Or maybe it'll actually be easy to hear. Maybe it'll actually be the easiest thing to hear. Maybe it'll be the most sane thing to hear. I don't know. You'll tell me, but let's go with a, with a determined, courageous heart to, to, to the tzaddik's words. And let's see. The parak bet is called Michoshech Leor. Anachnu Bechoshech. And we have to go to Or, we have to go to light. Everyone got paid, there's two pages. Well, the first is, is the pe- beginning of the Perek, but you'll need the footnotes from the end, of, from the back of the Sefer as well as we get to it, okay? You see? You have it? Everyone has, yeah? Okay. Chalomot veshivram. Dreams and their brokenness. Chalomot veshivram. Everyone has? Okay. 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 What we're going through here affects Jews and non-Jews in the whole world. These problems that we have stem from an ivut. Do you know what an ivut means? <coughs> Mashum meuvat. Do you know what that means? Le'avet. Huh? What's that? What did you say? Warped. Warped. Very good. It comes from a warped hashkafa in ideology. Shalinu lilmod ketzad letokno uleyoshro. And we need to know how to straighten this warped ideology and fix it. Now go. Can you say how long ago this statement was written? It could have been written yesterday. Yeah, 2005. Yeah, but, but it's a mamash. It's, it's, can, can, can. Yeah. So look look at look at the Haran, Perak. Look at the first Haran, Aleph, okay? Because you see there's an Aleph here. Ha-hashra'a ve-ha-chokhma ha-nitzrachot le-pitrona ba-ayot, inspiration and the wisdom to fix solve these problems to fix the problems that are standing before the Jewish people and humanity at all. They really come to us from the sole root of Yosef HaTzadik. He was the Baal HaChalamot, Poter HaChalamot. He was the dream, the dream solver. Yosef Patar Bechokhmato HaElokit Et Chalamot Paro Ubana Tochnit LePitron HaMashberim HaLeumim with his wisdom, he solved 
with his godly wisdom, the dreams of Parom, he also built the most incredible plans to solve the national crisis that was taking place there. The national crisis, the social crisis, the economic crisis that was standing before the Egyptian empire. And he did it with a lot of success. And in every generation, there's a tzadik yisod oilam. There is, there is this bechina of Yosef in every generation. Shu bechina says of a tzadik. Kfi she iskarnu bagdama, like we mentioned bagdama. Harayanot she besefer ze sheuvim mi horatav habrurot shel Rabbi Milubavich. Everything we're learning here, yes, it's Rav Ginsburg's lashon, but the ideas behind them are clearly drawn from the very clear and direct words of the Rebbe, of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Nishmas Eden. Shene'emlu bebehirut u betokef, that were said clearly and with conviction. Who? Shera'at ha-metziyut kfi shehi, he saw reality as it really is. Ve'ekir et shoresh ha-bayot ha-omdot befanea, and he recognized the root of the problems that were standing before. Hora lanu et derech ha-pitaron bechol mikre u mikre, he showed us, he showed us how to solve every single problem that we have. Is there another copy? Yeah. Okay. Lu shamanu le'etzotav, Rav Ginsburg says. Had we listened to the etzos of the Rebbe, lo ha'inu megi'im el ha-matzav ha-mulal shebo anu netunim kayom. We would have never reached the miserable state that we're in today. ועדיין, רוח דמותו ותורתו ממשיכה למלא אותנו השראה. But the Rebbe continues, his, his, his character, his Torah continues to fill us with inspiration. ונוטעת בנו את ראיית הטוב, and it plants within us seeing the good, ואת הכוח ליזום, and the strength to ליזום, uh, יוזמה. How do you say that? Take initiative. initiative. To take initiative. ולעשות את כל מה שביכולתנו, and to do whatever we can to bring the Mashiach. Okay, back inside. Second paragraph. Like we mentioned above, what we're experiencing here, is a result of Shvira Sakelim. In the world of chaos, the vessels are immensely large, while the vessels are very small. Guf ha'olam adayin eino mefutach u'mevugar dayo le'afnim et arotav ha'gdolim. The body of the world, the, this olam, the world itself, was not developed and mature enough in order to internalize the tremendous light which led to a shvirat ha'kenim. Like what? K'mo nar ha'nechsaf le'tovanot gdolot v'chavayot masirot k'asher eino bashel adayin. Like a young younger kid, who is exposed to tremendously deep um, and thrilling experiences when he's not yet bashel. He's not ripe enough yet. I got to tell you, this uh, I'm sure everyone could relate to this. I could really relate to what he just said right now. As much as I was hanging out with older people at a very young age, I realized at a, with, 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 I think the, the age of my mother and that even though I was experiencing a lot of big, very big things, I was, it was not ready. Not ready. No matter how mature I felt and not developed, it's unbelievable what this line, how this line is like screaming in me. But this child, and has no ability He has no ability to internalize the tremendous light which the experience is producing. So when it comes to a younger person, what's the result? Which means a nervous breakdown. It, means a nerv- it results in a nervous breakdown. You can see where he's going with this. What he's basically going to tell us is that Zionism has experienced a nervous breakdown. I, I could, but I would love for you to, to sit closer because I don't, I don't want to... I mean, I could scream. I know, but... but and by come come closer. The, what he's saying over here is that the experience that we, we're seeing with, 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 with the movement of Zionism, to a certain extent, has been a nervous breakdown. The light of the, of the dream of Zionism, 
השאיפה לשיבת העם היהודי למולדתו לאחר קרוב לאלפיים שנות גלות הוא אכן עצום, this dream of the aspiration of the Jewish people to return home after 2,000 years of galut is, is, is beyond huge, beyond huge. Orot the toh. It's, it's light like, like none of us could have ever humanly imagined and experienced. Omnam, hakelim shehuchnu al menat lekabel oto enam mefutachin deyatzonech. But the vessels to contain the light that comes with this return after 2,000 years have not been developed enough. Hatsionut yatsra kelim gashmim. Zionism has created many physical vessels. Like what? Slilat kvishim u b'niyat binyanim. We know how to pave roads. We know how to build buildings. Pituach ta'asiyah v'haskala gvoha. High level of education. Ta'asiyah. Industry. 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 The development of industry. But, but on the other hand, he hit alma me'amimad ha'pnimi ruchani shel ha'kilim alalu atzmam. It ignored the inner spiritual dimension of these vessels themselves, which is what? What's the inner dimension of the vessels for this light? The hainu et ha'akara bekach. Recognizing. Shakilim alalu, these vessels that we got to build all those things, the inner point of them, mechuvanim lesharet et atachlit ha'elokit babriah. They were placed in order to serve the purpose, the godly purpose in creation. That's what it was for, every dimension of it. Ve'af dachta me'mad zeh. Not only did it ignore it, to a certain extent, it rejected this dimension. It's amazing how he just breaks it down so clearly, you know. Lelo kavana mudad zo, nisharim ha-kelim ha-gishmim bilti b'shelim, without even realizing it. These kelim remain unriped. Im kol itpatchutam ha-gashmit ha-marshima, with all of its very impressive materialistic development, הם חסרים את היכולת להכיל וליקלות את אור החלום הציוני. They still lack the ability to contain and receive the actual light of the Zionist dream. So this is very important. Let me ask you, based on what we just learned, is Rav, Gim- is Rav Ginsburg a Zionist? Yes. Yes. Big time. Are we Zionists? Yes. Hard it's hard to tell, right? Zionist. It's hard to... What is a Zionist? Yeah, BDU. Yeah, we love Zion. No, that's not a Zionist. No, we're trying what to is a Zionist? We're trying to be. A Zionist, based on how he's describing it, it's more, it's, 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 more, it's doing all the b'niya, it's living, it's living in an inner dimension of, of towards geulah, with the understanding of why I'm building what I'm building. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Comes a person that says he's anti-Zionist, he says, no, listen, I'm, I'm busy on continuing to develop and build just the inner dimension of being the best Eved Hashem that I can. Where? It doesn't matter. Like I shared with you once the most traumatic experience of my life. I grew up on a street called Highland Avenue in Los Angeles, Hancock Park. A few years ago, one of my trips to LA, I think I told you this many years ago, I drove past the house that I grew up in before we made Aliyah. I don't know if you guys have ever done it. Go back to the, the home you grew up in and knock on the door. You never know what's going to be, but I saw there was a mezuzah on the door, so I walked So I, I walked in. I also was under the impression any childhood trauma would all be fixed just by walking <laughs> through, my, through my house and backyard. Nothing was taken care of, but it's definitely a good, exp- interesting experience, although suddenly there was a pool in my backyard that had uh, a swing set and some orange trees and... Uh, or in, yeah, like, Loda, and I walked into the house, and a beautiful-looking Yid opened the door. And there's pictures of G'daylim all over the, Mamish, the entrance to the house, and then to the right where, this, that was my father's piano was there, and Eitan and I would stand by the piano and sing, Mamish, like, it sounds like the Von Trapps. It wasn't like this every day, but it, it was like a lot of music, and, that, and my father's choirs were right there. A lot of memories of my father's choirs and waiting on the stairs, peeking at night to listen after I was supposed to go to sleep to hear my father teach them new songs. It was, it was very, very special. And we're going, and there's sfarim everywhere, right? So I said, I said, Shalom Aleichem, uh, 
I know this is weird, but I grew up in this house. Can I, can I, can I, uh, do you mind if I come and, and, and walk around here? You know where it is in LA? In Hancock Park? Highland, close to Melrose. Highland, Melrose, towards Hollywood. Mamish, I, what a schuss. You know, today I see, I could see Harabayat between 10 and 12 from my, from my, you know, I saw the Hollywood sign from my bedroom window. <laughs> Talk about Aliyah, Mamish, I had the Holly, baby Hollywood sign. So he asked, after him, he's like, okay, sure. He was on the phone. And I was walking around. The house was completely changed, but it was such a from home, right? So then he says to me, where are you from? I said, actually, I'm from Eretz Yisrael. This person's in his 60s. He said to me, ah, Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, I've never been there. It was whatever trauma I thought I was about to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Eretz Yisrael, yeah, never been there. Never been there yet. So obviously, like, that's not a... It's becoming more and more of a, of a, a reality. I, we can, I, I, it's very hard to relate to, to that. However, there are plenty of Yidin that mean well. They're just, un, they're just not really conscious of the Inyan of Kedushas Eretz Yisrael yet, and it's on us to beg Hashem for mercy and for us to do whatever we can out of love and zero judgment. I just couldn't do a thing. I was just shocked to my core. I, I left right away. And I've never, and, and I've passed by it a few more times. My brother and I had a concert earlier this year. Last year. When was it? Everything seems like a blur. Okay. Huh? In, in May, Lagba Omer, right? Lagba Omer. In LA, and the theater was actually like Mamish passed the house that we grew up in. And I just drove as fast as I could by. I didn't even look at the site. Oh, look at it. It's Shundava going on, <laughs> driving by it. What am, I, what am I trying to show? What am I, what, what's the point of sharing this story? Is that there is an ability to say the whole Eretz Yisrael Zionist thing is not part of what I feel is the tachlis of my Bria, is the purpose of my creation of being here in this world. That's nothing to do with... It's, it, has, it has no relevance to how to be the best Jew today. There are many, 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 many sweet Yidlach that think like this. Mm-hmm. But look at the people that then say, no, 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 the Indian is Eretz Yisrael, right? The question is, how do you approach looking at the thing that the Tachlit is Eretz Yisrael? What he said to us, what he explained to us right now is that this light called Tzionut is so bright that without proper kalim, you'll have shvira sakalim over and over and over and over again. And that is what we're experiencing. Yeah. Without a shadow of doubt, I believe in that, what I just said, fully. Fully. So how do we create the proper kalim? <laughs> Shalom, Matos, what do you think we're doing here? <laughs> it's exactly, exactly what we're trying to do here. That's what the Sefer is about. I'm glad you said it so clearly. Exactly. Back inside, but Isn't top it, top line. You flee the, the Torah, the mitzvah. Yeah, but it's, it's easy to say that. It's, it's just like, oh, okay, so I'll just I'll just keep Torah and mitzvahs. Obviously, but, it's but obviously it's, not that but, because but we're he said, here, right? We're here. We're learning. We're davening. We're doing. We, it's obviously not that. So it's got to be more than that. Uh, if it was just that, you could do it anywhere, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It, it, How do you oh, connect it, Torah to Israel? In Israel, in Israel. The or of the Tzionuti, I understand from the text, but I'm wrong, is that it's the Torah. How about it? What, 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 what does that mean? But what does that mean? From what, from what Rabbi Ginsburg said, what does that mean? also building the roads, also building the buildings, but building it. Let's take medicine, put some water in the tank. Liquid, liquid is liquid. No, it's like, what, what, what is, is it? What is, what is, it? The, the, what is it? What's the what, what is that thing? What is the Torah? No, like, what, what, is, what is the relevance of how to take what you just said in the, into the Klee called, called coming back to Eretz Yisrael? What does that even mean? You think if everyone was just Shomer Shabbos here, like, if it couldn't stand each other, then, then it would be fine? Why, why, why can't you say Shomer Shabbos and love each other? Oh, uh, you could. Why, why, you why, could. Why, but why, this why, land, but this land, you have to be very, very deep in order for those two things to work. You have to be very, very Shabbos. deep. A little bit. No, I'm saying <laughs> <that>. <laughs> 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 Is the Torah or not? The Kli is for sure the Torah. Everything is, of course, the, the light is the Torah. The Kli, of course. Oh, now you're, 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 now you
עוד לא, עוד לא. התפתחות הכלים, 100%. Listen, this is learning. We're learning from a Makubal. Of course, he's not going to say anything other than that, but the, the question is, what's Pneumius? What's the Pneumius of what you just said? What's the inside of what you just said? Like, איך מגיעים לש... Like, you know, come on, like... Even saying just the Torah, that's too much or. What are the Kelim to Le'achil of that? We're going to need Kelim to hold the Torah. The Torah card is in the Torah also. We have the Torah. Bo nitenlo. Bo nitenlo. This is good. This is good stuff. It's writing... Because what you're saying, Israel, is really what a whole world of, of Orthodox Jews say. Azov it say, man. Azov it say. Azov it say. Le'ach d'chata mamad zeh. They pushed away Hashem in the Torah. That's what, what, why everything broke. What did they push away, though? The Torah and Hashem. No, no, it's not what he said. He said they pushed away the understanding of what why these... The, ke- of, of why the... of the Kelim. Why, 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 it's my not the same thing. No, no, no. It's yeah, really, really not the same thing. Ten, ten, lo, ten, lo. But it's, it's good what you're saying. But it's really not the same thing. At all. We'll see. Nachzol ledun... Let's go back to the example of the, of the kid that's going through puberty. Nachzol ledugmat anar amitbagel. גם אצלו הבשלות הפיזית, his physical ripeness המתבטאת בגוף ובחושים מפותחים, which gets expressed with more developed body and senses, איננה מצביעה בהכרח על הבשלות הנפשית הנצרכת על מנת להכיל את המשמעות הרוחנית של התפתחותו. This is so deep. I'm going to say this to you in different words. What he just said, and I'll give you an example. With our oldest, obviously, with everyone's oldest, you always, and they know, and I... And Dovkin, I don't know how many of you are Bechors here, yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, we're the, we're, the, we're the guinea pigs, right? More like, yeah. right? we're the guinea pigs, right? That's so, the, the trading Right. <laughs> What's that? The trading field. The tra- right. Wow, it's heavy stuff. Talk about trauma. It's going to be a lot of uh, interesting feelings today. What happens, well, I, and we noticed this by, like, I noticed, no, my wife was, and saw this from the beginning, I noticed, like, I couldn't understand. She's physically growing up. How could it be that she still doesn't hop The difference between whatever. Mm-hmm. That's because it has nothing to do with each other necessarily. The fact that someone's physically developing <laughs> means nothing about their spiritual um, absorption of, of, of reality. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think it only ends like at a young, at a young age? This, this escorts us throughout our life. This distance between the two. Oh, well, because I'm now this, I should be now this. Right? <laughs> Mamash. So he's liking that to the development of this state, of this country. Hatotza'a, what's the result when that doesn't add up? Ha'or atzmo shoveret kelav, the light itself breaks its own vessels because it can't contain it. Bechol yom anu edim l'shvirat ha'kelim שנוצרו על ידי החלום הציוני. Every single day we're witnessing the breaking of vessels which was, which was created by the Zionist dream. הקמת מדינה ריבונית, the foundation of a sovereign state, שבה נחיה ככל הגויים, that will live the way that other sovereign states live, מתוך שלום עם שכנינו הערבים, with peace with our Arab neighbors. Okay, bet. Now go and now go footnote bet. Okay. Etzem ha-sheifa, in the footnote. Etzem ha this, this is really, really, this is just real. Look what he says. Etzem ha-sheifa l'chaye shalom v'armonia im shchaneinu ha-ravim, k'she'enana miyuchaset li'emot ha-mashiach, hu begeder ta'atua. Okay, this is, this is amazing. He says that even the aspiration to live a life of peace and harmony with our Arab neighbors, when it's not in the context of Yemot HaMashiach, is itself a perverted, warped delusion. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. How could you say you don't want peace? How, in what frame are you, are you speaking about this? HaRebi, Hevi Be'ekshar Zeh Divei Rambam, so the Rebbe quotes the Ram Hemelchus Malachim, HaKovea, Shirak Az, Be'emot HaMashiach, only in the days of Mashiach, Yitkayem Vegar Ze'ev Im Keves. That a, uh, that, that, what, how do you say in English? That the wolf, the wolf will live with the sheep. And the Rebbe writes in the letter, Eineni ro'et kufa memushechet shel yichasim normalim lachalutin, im kol shchenenu aravim milvad be'emea HaMashiach. The Rebbe says, 
I only see normalized, normalized, peaceful, long-term, good relationships with the Arab neighbors only in the times of Mashiach. Kasher yaguru b'shalom yachdav hazeev v'akeves. Only in the times where the Prophet says that the, the, the lamb will live with the, the wolf. Are, are we the, the lamb? Or sometimes it's like, we're, are you? <laughs> <laughs> are we a lion or a lamb? It's a, you know what? For now, it's a, for now it's even irrelevant because what the, the, the point is just saying like this. In, in, the, in the kli called, in the physical kli called Medinat Israel. As long as there is this she'ifa, this aspiration, to dwell in peace, even like a, it's a nice aspiration. What a beautiful! It seems like a bit, like a holy uh, aspiration to dwell in peace with our Arab neighbors. I mean, look, it's I, I, I personally, I feel like it doesn't it feel warm. You have like this type of wow. I would love to visit our mm-hmm. peaceful brothers that we have a, a treaty with in Cairo and in Amman. Uh-huh. Right? Even even using the word shalom in that context is such a chilul Hashem me'en kamo. Shalom is one of the names of God, and we use that word to describe a a, a document that that was made over the years. The asper yeah, and this we have, you need, but I'm, I I know this might be hard, but I need you all to go like open your hearts, shut off your minds for a second, go deep 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 inside. What did he just? What was the quote from the Rebbe here? He's saying even the aspiration that people are trying to do, which in the eyes of the tar- of the Tarbut Maravit in the Western world, what, what could be a holier ish shalom? What, what could be a holier thing than trying to live in peace with our Arab neighbors? Right? The, what the Rebbe said is that even it, when it's not in the context of a messianic reality, it's a the Rav Ginsburg says it's a ta'atua. Ta'atua means a. It's like the same concept for saying it's a. It may be. It may sound very holy, but it's a shemitz ta'atua. I need a, it's a yeah, it's it's the exact opposite. It brings the exact opposite. So when when the Zionist dream has in it this aspiration for peace with our Arab neighbors, gevalt. Who doesn't want to live in peace? I wouldn't want Ahmed to, in, a, in an ideal world, I wouldn't want Ahmed that, that has, has given his, uh, I, I have no idea I even explained this, but, you know, not, not this generation, this is toast, but I'm saying in the future generations, I wouldn't want his Eneklach, after they see that we took out evil from the world and we gave them a chance to actually be alive, I wouldn't want him to come and sit at my table and say, let me tell you about Abraham, let me tell you the real story about Abraham and Yitzchak, which you took and, you know, that they... Perverted, and they changed Yitzchak with Yishmael when it comes to the Akedah. You all know that, right? Like, let, let me tell you the story. Let me, let me explain to you the depth of uh, the beauty of the world. But that's a Mashiach reality. But as long as there's this determination in my mind that there's actually going to be peace with people, that in the moment that they're able to slaughter me, will, then the words within the Zionist dream... The way that it's written like this is a perversion of everything sacred and holy. You have to hear this in the primus of it, not on the outside of it. Real peace. But the, but the Zionist dream should be Mashiach. Keyword that you just said in your sentence? Should. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's so, this, the name of this book is Should, by the way. So, 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 so that should... So the, so that should be like that should be our goal, like peace with them, because but the only way it's going to happen is with Mashiach. That's what we've been learning for months already with his Torah. Exactly, we're not knocking the whole thing. We're saying we have to redefine what its purpose really is. No, but what's also important is that mainstream media Israel, a Mashiachist. That's like calling you. A racist. A racist. Yeah. yeah. That's like the worst curse word. You're a you're a messianic psychopath, delusional, crazy man. It's like, no, no. That's actually what we need to be striving towards. It's like an entire 180 for Israeli culture. I'm so glad that it came out more in the in the recent years. Like it, only in the recent years that when someone tries to diss someone here, they call them a meshichin. Like I'm I'm happy that it's coming to the surface. The absurdity, the absurdity that that's actually being used as something that defines someone as dangerous, is actually a wonderful thing that it's coming to the surface. Because it's pointing exactly on the Nakuda of where, well, wait a second. 
Am I not Mishichi? Like, if I'm not Mishichi, what on earth am I trying to build here? If I'm not Messianic, huh? We're not Mishichi, let's go to Ontario. Be the yuk. Shalom. Peace. I'll dive in. I'll find a minion. <laughs> Mayan. Mayan. There'll be a mikvah right there. I'll, it'll all work out. It's almost like what he's saying is like, if that's not the real force behind this project, however, we, we should pack our bags now. Not, not in, not, not so that someone else doesn't come into my house and pack my own bag. Right? Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's, that's, that's the trajectory of where things are heading unless there's a real big wake-up call within the Am, which I believe there is. And we'll have some holy representation of that. When's the conference? Next week? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. There is, there is a voice. There is a voice within the Am. That voice needs to be strengthened. And, and, and it, you have, I don't even know if you realize, I mean, you do, because we spoke about it yesterday. Your shlichus there is probably one of the most important shlichus in the world. Of Even those that are speaking in the name of no, we got to resettle God. All that talk also has to be in the context of, of Mashiach. Of Mashiach. See, this isn't just a, a sefer that's showing how the left has no idea what they're doing. To me, it's more of a bikoret, even on the right, of saying, what were you trying to do with nationalistic ideas? Like, what, what was lying beneath all the nationalistic ideas if it wasn't really Mashiach-based? It's also Shvira Sakalim. It's also a breaking of vessels. Mamash. Oh. Feiglin got up on TV yesterday. Who? Moshe Feiglin gets up on TV yesterday and he says, Ma, someone said to him, Afilu im achshav kulam yikanu be'aza. Ma, achshav gam nichbosh et aza? He's like, Ma, ze, ma sh- bet, nichbosh et aza bedarki lebeit ha-mekdash. Wow. Wow. And he's considered the craziest <laughs> Meshichist. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, I feel a little bit more sane right now when I hear, when I hear him say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, you want to say something? Yes, it seems to me that it's, it's worse than a, a misunderstanding or a perversion. It is a necessity. It's a sine qua non. It's something without which it is not possible. Correct. It's, uh, yeah. def- it's not possible at all. It's not possible, it's not possible at all. Yeah. You can't ride a bike if you don't have a bike. Do you, you, you hear what the doctor said? It's exactly this. This aspiration that somehow is still, I don't even know if it's, if it's real anymore by certain people that, are, that speak like this about the eventual, I hate to say this word, peace plant, because I feel like it's a bizui yeah. of the word, right? It's not possible because it's not meant to to be like this. This is not how it's meant to be. There's no vessel. The vessel for those big words is Geula. There's no, it doesn't work any other way. Now, just one more paragraph. One more paragraph. See also, every time they tried, it got worse and worse. But what's Einstein's uh, definition of yeah, insanity? Insane. Expecting, a different, expecting a different result. Einstein. Albert Einstein said, about somehow it still keeps on going. Okay, back inside. And he points out something really interesting here to help us understand the pneumatics of this. Before the, before the country, before the state was, was uh, founded, uh, what's the other voice we always hear? But before there was a state, you know, Jews were always, were always, uh, um, what's the right word? Hunted? Um, no, persecuted. persecuted. We were always unwanted guests. They were always persecuted in, 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 in the, under, underneath other sovereignties. Lamrod Zot. But of Ginsburg says, but you know what? To a certain extent, to a large extent, Hem Shamru Al Pirov Begeaval Zutama Yudit. It's true. We were persecuted, but the majority still kept with pride their Jewish identity. But now we've come home to our home, to our moledet. What an equipped and, and uh, strong army we have. But our identity as Jews 
הגאווה המהותית שהחייתה אותה במשך אלפיים שנה. This tremendously deep pride which gave us life for 2,000 years עומדת בסכנה. is in danger. The Jewish identity is in danger. התפשטות האידיאולוגיה הפוסט-ציונית, the spread of post-Zionist ideology, החילונית באופייה עוד יותר מאשר הציונות שקדמה לה, which is more secular in its character even more than the Zionism that came before it, מאיימת לערער את הזהות היהודית על ידי החלפתה בזהות בינלאומית או בזהות ישראלית נטולת יהדות. מאיימת לערער. It, it threatens to uh, ערעור. I'm sorry, I, I, my brain is... Huh? De-stabilize. To destabilize the Jewish identity by changing it with a, an international identity mm-hmm. or an Israeli Jewish-less identity. So they tried the last government. They to push this. Mm-hmm. As well, peace with our, with our neighbors seems further than ever. What we need to do is what we learned about last... Uh, last parak. Tikun ha-tohu, the fixing of chaos. Lehizdarez u lachin et atzmeinu letaken et akelim ha-shvurim alalu. To fast, prepare ourselves to fix these broken vessels, which is called letaken et medinat Yisrael, to fix medinat Yisrael. He's not saying to give up on medinat Yisrael. Afuch, letaken et medinat Yisrael. You see, sometimes when you don't want to admit that there's a problem, you'll be so adamant that this is the right thing. Right? Because you think that if you say something's broken, it means you were wrong. No. It's, it was right in its idea. Right? <coughs> But it got broken very fast the more that the idea didn't contain with it the right and holy projection and direction of it. But the, the ego, the ego, the yesh, doesn't allow you to admit that it's broken. Because the ego says if something's broken, it means it needs fixing. Which mm-hmm. means... I'm not so perfect, which means it, I have to rethink things. I have to reevaluate things. You're willing to continue building a building going up high when the yesod, when the foundation is so shaky, just to say, but, the, but, but look, it's still going high. It's still, it's still rising. There's another floor. Achino, what about the... But the, but the, but the base, but the, but the foundation is, is completely shaky. But, but why are you looking down? You're such a pessimist. Look up. Achi, this building is going to collapse. Why are you being such a pessimist? We're building more. There's more high-tech. Waze. We have Waze. Who made Waze? I, I can't stand those commercials. I can't stand those commercials that speak about, oh, you know, if you're really, if you're anti-Zionist, anti-Semitic, you can't, you can't use Waze because Waze is uh, from here. Or you can't, uh, what are the no, other things? iPhones. No, iPhones, everything. all the Man, chips. Just start naming things. It's all... As, if, as if that is the or yeah. for the Kli. Are, have we lost our minds that these are the things that are the pride? I'm not knocking them. But when that becomes the focus of our Zehut. The identity. This is, this is heavy stuff. Yeah, it depends on who you talk to. If you talk to... The... Um, that's what they understand. They also understand, they also understand Jews getting raped. Yes. They understand that. They understand that that's a, it's, it's a price of uh, tension. They understand a lot of things. I, Loma, the, the, their souls, their godly souls, their, their, I'm not going to get to godly souls, their neshamas are waiting for us to never ever have the chutzpah to, put out commercials like that because that's not a besorah for the world. It's not, that's not the besorah that the world is waiting for. That's not what we're here to share with the world. I'm well, sorry. What if those companies yeah. were a little bit more hardy? What if they did something and nothing? They have a tikkun. Of course, they could. I mean, that's the world they speak to. They could. The question is, what's the message? What are they sharing with the world? Emptiness. Those, those messages, I mean, I know that for some people, they say, what are you talking about? That just shows the world how much they're dependent on us. It hasn't really changed anything, Chavra. That, that, those things don't... 
they don't care. Those right. things don't matter. Mm-hmm. Those things don't aren't changing anything. They're not mattering. It doesn't matter. Actually, only feeds the conspiracy. Yeah. Conspiracy theory is the oh, power, are in charge of everything. the power, the money. They, they don't feed that's anything. That the laws, that's not what they're really, really waiting for. If I really believe in humanity, I don't look at what they're what they're waiting for on the surface. Mm-hmm. If I believe in humanity, I don't look at them bichlal. I have to look deep into me and believe that my purpose of being here is much deeper uh-huh. than the way that I've projected it from the last 75 years. Marasot, yeah. that's what it is. Just look at what they're calling this world, right? Right. Mabul al They get it. Yeah, I, uh, I told you guys that I saw it on the wall, right? Yeah. In Beiri. Yeah. I could, you know, I, I, I shared I could read Arabic. So I, on the walls, on the wall in, in Kibbutz Beiri, I saw in one of the houses, where there's graffiti on all over the kibbutzim. So I saw one of them, Mamish wrote, Mabul al Akta, which means the flood of al Akta. That's what they're calling this war. What are we calling it? Chorvot Barzel? What kind of a, what kind of an insane, non-Jewish, just nationalist? What, what is that word, Bichlam? Uh, what's it? What is it? He said in English. So, swords, swords of, of iron, swords. iron swords, iron swords. Can children getting beheaded? You're calling this thing iron swords? What? That's the identity of the of the war of our war. There's a lot, listen, there's a lot to digest here. There's a lot to digest here, but the yeah. most beautiful thing is, the most beautiful thing is that at a certain point, at a certain point, the Olam Hatikun begins to shine when you just have enough of a Rav, of a, of a Bakasha, of a Drisha for Kedim the Tikun, for, mm-hmm. for, okay, Rabbanu Shleon. We're not kfui tov, chalila. We're not unthankful for the gift called Medinat Israel. So that's people get confused. They they hear this kind of talk so much, and then they stop saying halal and yom atzmaut. Why? Because it just doesn't add up. Because the whole thing is you 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 you, you once gave me a nice spiel on that when I had my yom atzmaut issues, which I still do. Like yom atzmaut to me shouldn't be a day of, of celebration this year. It should be a day of halal, and the point of halal should be ana Hashem or shiana. It should not be these... Uh, look at the way... Well, look at Yom Atzmaut. If, if we were real about Yom Atzmaut, you think one person would do a barbecue? Barbecue is 4th of July. Yom Atzmaut and its, and its panemius should be a day of the most deepest learning all day long. Panemius to him, like the, the, such mysterious nefesh. Parties. Mazak kashuv to the Atzmaut of... Medinat Israel. What does it have to do with it? Mazik kashur bichlam. There's nothing to do with each other. You want to do a barbecue? Do, say a seuda, seuda. And you, if you want a barbecue, make a barbecue. But say there. But what is, is the focus? Sitting around a table, speaking about the nisim and the nes of of a chance to bring kelim the tikkun to oros the to. This is the this is the direction that we have to. Those of us that aren't willing to give up on this dream, that are not willing to give up on the dream, and that understand, and, 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 and next week what we're going to start to discuss is, and you'll see, understanding the nature of dreams, how they break, how they get resolved, Yosef HaTzadik, Potera Chalamot, uh, all this avoda, this is very primitive stuff, but it's, it's going to take a lot of mamash being very brave and courageous enough to say, to, to admit, Shnia. Maybe, even though our kavanas were good and they were holy, they're still based on yesodot that keeps the yesod, that keeps the foundation completely shaking. Completely and totally shaking. You see, it's easy to say right now, if we don't just carpet bomb Gaza right now, then uh, we'll have another October 7th. But like Rav Cook said, he says, as much as you're adamant on wiping out evil... Limchok, you have to know what you're writing in the place that you're erasing. So this is the this is the development of becoming very deep spiritual. I believe like what real Hasidus is all about, like conscious people that are not just into giving into one side of the place of Gvura, but understanding the Chesed, not an Arivim, God forbid. That's the warped reality that we're living in where 
where we have so much rachmanis on, on what's called, again, a perversion of, of a terminology, innocent bystand. We're innocent bystanders. We're, we're innocent people that are walking by. Like, we're, we're there. But it's saying, well, okay, you wiped that out, but what are you filling in it? What are you filling in it? And that's our job. And we should be blessed. It would be the biggest chia in the world that if we could bring Mashiach consciousness into the Zionist identity, the whole world will win. Not commercials showing us that ways and, 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 and vitamins and I don't know what. And even, huh? The polio and vaccines and medicines and law. All the Jewish minds could have got together in Uganda and produced the same exact thing. <laughs> but they can't get together in Uganda and build the base on Ignis. Okay. Shukran everyone.